Mike check one two one two. Mike check one two one two. What's good? It's your boy, the Blackest of Mikes, aka the Black Mike, and this is the Black Mike TV. And this is the continuation of a video where I showed you guys how to export stems and multi tracks out of your door. This video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to import stems into your door of choice so that you can mix. Stick around. Welcome back. All right, so in last video, last week's video, pretty much what happened was I showed you guys how to export your stems and multi-tracks out of Ableton, right? To prepare for mixing. Now in this video, we're gonna get into the mixing part, right? So I'm gonna show you how to import your stems or multi-tracks into your DAW of choice or Pro Tools and my process for making that happen, right? You guys might as well join in on my workflow. So what I do is I start uh, within Pro Tools. I just uh, open up, create a track using my template that I already, uh, already created. And I name it and we're gonna call it Centralized Black Mix. I learn how to spell. Okay, so that's good to go. 48 hertz, 24 bit, which is consistent with what I've been using. All right, this is the folder I'm gonna be using. All right, bet, so now everything's beginning to restore. All right, cool, so before we get started, I'm just going to change the tempo to the tempo of the new uh, session of the beat or song that I already know the tempo of, so cool. I'm gonna start right here from the intro. I already got, you know, pre-made uh, markers. Markers are extremely important. I use them all the time. It just helps me know what to get, what part, and be able to jump back and forth. All right, so now that we have that set up, I'm going to go to File, Import, Import Audio, select that. All right, so now we have our folder here. Actually, no, that's the... That's the session folder. You want to go to the folder that has the stems and multi-track. So let me get to that here. All right, I'm going to select all, grab the top, hit shift, uh, click the bottom and go to add files. Hit done. All right, so this window pops up, uh, it says destination, new track or clip list. I wanna go to new track so I can have all those tracks. I don't have to create them and um, hit selection because I want it to start from exactly where I selected, which is the intro marker. Boom. All right, seems like everything is here. Just to verify and make sure. And what I'm gonna do at this point is, cause I remember when we first bounced the, uh, or exported the files, right? Um, what happens was we exported the drums and we exported the drums separately, right? So I don't want two uh, layers of drums because that's just extra, right? So here's the, the, the drum track, the drum stem. Far too loud, right? I mute that. All right, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So now I'm just going to remove those or just uh, hide, hide and make inactive. So that's out of the way. Now there's another file that I had two of. So the Mellow V, sorry, Mellotron V is the dry signal and the Mellotron V underscore vibes is the affected one, right? So I wanna get rid of the, that one, the dry one. All right, so hide and make inactive. So now I just have all of the tracks that I'm gonna be using. That's it. All right, so, all right, so let me organize this a bit more and I'll be right back with you guys. Fire.
All right, so at this point, what I'm going to do is route these accordingly. All of my effects are going to go under effects. All right, and all of my percussions will go under the drum bus. Right, and my bass is going to go under, you guessed it, boom, under bass. And all of the upper parts are going to go under keys, sample, sample keys, boom. So now, fire, as we have it, everything can be routed up here. Mute that, no bass, drums, perfect. So those are only three stems that I'm gonna be having. And uh, at this point, I'm definitely ready to begin my mix. And maybe in another video, I will show you guys um, exactly how I get that done. Well, that's how I import my stems and multi-tracks into my Pro Tools mix session so I be can begin mixing and uh, getting this to sound like it's supposed to. So by the time this video comes out, I would have already mixed this and uploaded this for release. I'm gonna leave the link in down below so that you can click on it um, to preview it, view it, and uh, possibly download it. It's gonna be on my Bandcamp page. And uh, please be on the lookout for my website, which is under construction right now. It is, you guessed it, theblackmic.com. All right, well that about wraps up this video on how to import stems, multi-tracks into your DAW of choice. In this case, what did I use? Pro Tools. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you guys wanna know more, like how to export stems in the first place, I made a video on that. Hit that card up top. And if you guys are interested in hearing more of this remix or flip that I did, feel free to go inside the comment with my Bandcamp account link Fire. is there. So, yeah, what else is there to say? I'm your boy, The Blackest of Mics, and this is The Black Mike TV. Peace. Fire. Fire. Fire.